somewhere different for the walk. The walk's going to follow pretty much the same format. We're going to go out for a walk and then we're going to go have some breakfast afterwards. But Paul's a little bit under the weather, so we're going to stay local to my area. And then rather than going out for breakfast, I'm going to cook him a bit of breakfast when we get back. Holly, Holly, sit down. Good girl, can I paw? Can I paw? Good girl. Is Paul coming? Is is that Paul coming to see you? I know. We, are we, I know. I know we, are we are we going to go out? Are we going to go out when that Paul comes? Are we? We are, aren't we? Go find him there. Right, so I don't think I've shown you before what gear I actually take. Don't know how much you'll be able to see because it's a bit dark in the living room, aren't we? Yeah. Let's get the curtains. There we go, that's a little bit better. Right, so I've got my tripod on the bag, as always. What you can't see is what I'm holding, which is my action cam. <coughs> but the stuff that I normally take with me are my Canon 550D with the 18 to 55 kit lens, the 50mm lens, and <coughs> the big lad, the 70 to 300 telephoto lens. That's the, the kit that I normally take, plus like ancillaries like wipes and dust blowers and spare batteries and, and the like. And that's what I'll be taking with me today. Saturday morning, which means I'm out for a walk. Got Paul with me today. He's still not feeling well, so we decided to stay local. So what we're doing is we're just taking a walk to, I suppose you could call it a nature reserve in my area called Denny Beings. So we're just going to go for a steady walk around there, and then I promised him a bacon butty and a cup of tea afterwards. And and then we're going to walk. Then if we if Paul's feeling all right. We're going to walk back by the canal. Do you know what the canal is? Yeah, I know, I know the canal. No, what it's called? I don't know what the canal's called now. No, like the Mersey Dude Canal. <coughs> no idea what's called. I know it won't be that one, but it's a canal. Yeah, it, it's like a man-made river. It's a man-made river. No idea what it's called. But anyway, that's the way that we'll walk back if if, if we're feeling all right. If we find that, we could come back to the end text. I could do. I will have to learn how to do that in the editing software, but I will try the best. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> On with the dead So we've just gotten to uh, Denny Beings, so that's the road portion done uh, for, a, for a while. If you just look down there, it's basically a circular path that, uh, <coughs> that goes around the, uh, the wetlands. Now what, <coughs> what happened, 
what they did here is that Yorkshire Wildlife Trust actually established this as a nature reserve in uh, 1967, but it's it's pretty much what you'd kind of expect the uh, the area to have been round here a long a long time ago. And if anybody's wondering what Ings means, it's it just means damp or marshy land. It's uh, the languages got Norse origins. So at the minute we're just on this uh, long path that goes around the perimeter of the Ings but what I'll do when we get to an appropriate opening in the trees I'll kind of show you what the, uh, the Ings looks like, give you a bit, of a, a bit of a panoramic view of what it actually is beyond the trees. So this is what I was talking about, once you um, get a break in the trees, this is what the Ings is. And the path winds all the way around the perimeter of this. And it's a wild, like I said before, it's a wildlife sanctuary for birds. But and litter, big books, it? And unfortunately, litter, which is horrendous. But, as a place, it's beautiful, and it's only on my doorstep as well. Yeah, last time we came down, it was raining really, really bad. And it was actually, if your memory serves me right, one of the first photography lessons you ever gave me. It was. Now, that was a long time ago. What was that, about a year ago? No, it was last summer, wasn't it? Last summer. Yeah, so, um, so like, well, well, it was in the evening, wasn't it? It was about seven, eight, nine o'clock. Yeah. When we were down, it, it was after work, wasn't it? Yeah, it was after work, and we were, but it was throwing it down. It was cold as well. It's a lot nicer today. Yeah. Well, it's not any warm, but at least. This is another one of one of the open bits, and. A lot of people will probably be coming down here with cameras and you can see why as well because there's definitely some shots to be had. Saying that I'm gonna see if anything takes me and try and get a shot and if I do get anything I'll insert it in the video here.
Right, so that's uh, Denny Beings done and dusted. So, so back onto the road for a bit. Onto the road. And then um, we'll probably walk along the canal back home. Just as we walked out and onto the road, uh, Paul noticed this scene. I was a bit blind and I walked straight past it, but we've taken a couple of shots of it and uh, we'll uh, get them processed and see how they turn out. It's a fat light in the background. And the bull rushes and the, and the, the, the teasels. Yeah. It's just a fat light and it's beautiful. Shit. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I'm glad he noticed it because I would have missed out on a really, really, really good photo. So I'll, uh, I'll stick those in the video about now after they've been processed. quite enjoyed that. Uh, we've just come off the canal and we're walking back into my house now for the aforementioned promise of butty and brew. Yeah, I thought that was quite a nice, quite a nice walk. Very yeah, pleasant walk. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> getting, getting a bit knackered now. I'm but a bit tired now but I think good. that's all that matters. Lovely walk, nice, got some, got some nice photos. Lovely Saturday morning all told. to go far to get to get some nice scenery that was just on my doorstep that was a literally a 10 minute walk down to the Ings and then uh, back to the canals and it was great probably doesn't rival the Peak District or anywhere any of those other places that I go but like I said it just goes to show that you can find something good if you decide to venture out thanks for watching <laughs>